So guess who's just bought their first rental property? In this video I'm just going to go over uh, me picking up the keys, going to get in the house, uh, showing you around. I've not actually seen this place funnily enough. I bought this house um, purely just by looking at the, um, the pictures online. So the numbers were good. I actually had a deal finder find this house for me. I'm going to go over the full deal, all the numbers, all the what I'm expecting, and I'm going to be figuring out today exactly how much we're going to spend in the place to get it rentable. Because ultimately, I'm doing a buy to rent here. I'm buying this house to rent it out. So yeah, I'm going to run. I'm going to run the deal by you. I'm going to show you the house. I'm going to show you the deal. Um, I hope you enjoy this video. It's just a little um, input into you know my my life, my journey here, my first rental property. So I just wanted to share it and yeah, enjoy. See you soon and look who got the keys so i'm heading over to the house right now i just met with the previous owner there grabbed the keys and yeah, i'm going to head over and see what it's like inside so all right so we're here at the house i've got the keys and i'm just going to roll up and show you the place now so this is the big moment i've seen this i've been here before but i've not actually seen inside so i'm going to just show you the house right now there it is there and it's got a little side closed down there which goes to the garden and I'm going to show you all inside I'm going to walk in and just show you my reaction all the way through all right so the moment of truth here we go so you get the key out and then we go there we go okay so let's open up the blinds get a bit of light going on in here all right so that needs fixed, that's just came off. <laughs> um, so yeah, the flooring's really, really nice actually. The walls are pretty good. We've got a little bit of what's called Artex in the roof here, so that's probably gonna need done. Because um, a lot of people don't like to have houses with all these swirls in it and all that stuff. So we'll probably need to get that um, plastered over. And then we've got the kitchen in here. So the kitchen, definitely these units need to be done, but there's a little trick you can do. So you don't actually need to replace the whole, um, the whole unit. Unless these, these back units are damaged or they have problems, which they look to me to be okay. Um, basically all you need to do is the doors, right? So the doors look pretty old and crappy. So if you're doing this as a new rental, we're probably gonna wanna get some new doors on here, but windows are fantastic. Doors are brilliant. They look like they've been fairly recently done. I don't know what the hell this thing is, but I'm probably gonna get rid of that. That's like a, looks like something for hanging your clothes, but yeah, it doesn't look very nice. Um, this is all Artex, this is going to need done. The roof's Artex, so that's going to need done as well. And look, we have a lot of walls with Artex on it here, so this is all probably going to need to done here. So all this stuff, and uh, we're going to need to get that plastered over and get that looking a hell of a lot nicer. So let's roll upstairs and see what else we've got. So we have the bathroom here, which looks really, really nice actually. I wouldn't probably do very much this. The tiles are fairly new as well uh windows are perfect so a lot of the main expensive things hello all of the main expensive things look like they have been kept in order and um, unsure about these carpets um you got these ones in here actually look okay um again i don't know if i get away with this wall i'll maybe looks like wallpaper but i'll maybe need to do that as well yeah it looks pretty crappy so something's going to need to be done with that whether it's getting painted or just plastered over um down here carpets are pretty nice um but look at these horrible yellow walls so i'll need to get that redone uh, we've got nice clean windows again and yeah i'll need to get that taken off somehow looks pretty horrible so whether we're gonna redo this i might redo this whole thing because it looks a bit kind of old and dated as well um so all the light switches there and then we've got this room here which has um, some pretty um, aged cabinets, shall we say. Look at these little handles on here. So I don't know, we'll probably just get all that removed actually. Um, and yeah, oldish cabinets. So yeah. So I'm gonna be doing now is trying to price the place out and get an idea of exactly how much I'm gonna to need to spend on this house. Um, at first glance, it looks like probably a little bit more than what I expected. I think more of the walls have got Artex on them, which is that sort of like um, finish there. So. Um, basically what we have to do is you know plaster you have to actually plaster over that stuff and then to make it flat and then you have to basically paint it um, to, to make it look nice so we've got artex and ceilings we've got artex and walls so all that is just requires you to get plaster and for a few days to probably do this whole house it's not super expensive like it's probably gonna be a few grand to get the whole house done um, and then 
maybe not even as much of that. You know, you're more spending with time on that one because it's just plaster and paint you're basically doing. It just takes a lot of time to do it. Um, and then I'm going to need to get the kitchen units done um, and just do some different things to try and make the place look a bit more modern because even like, for example, with banisters here, which are quite dated and I don't know how, how um, what I'm going to do to basically get those sort of looking good and fresh again. Like so, some of the doors just look a bit, you know, old fashioned and stuff like that. So just want to make this place look really, really good and really, really fresh for a tenant coming in. Um, I'm estimating it's probably going to be around the four-ish grand mark to do the full place and get all this done to a good standard. I'm also going to, to buy appliances for this kitchen, so there might be a good few grand in that as well. So, yeah, I'm going to go away. I'm going to price this place out, and I'm going to give you an idea on exactly how much I'm going to spend. And my mum, who's actually a property investor as well, she's coming over in about 10, 15 minutes. She's going to also price the place out, and we're just going to see how accurate, because I'm, I'm, I'm more new to this game than she is, and she's going to see um, how accurate I am in terms of the pricing of all the different things and how much I'm going to have to spend. And look who's arrived. Property guru herself. So we just left the house now. Um, my mum, we spent the last half hour or so with my mum, just trying to work out how much we're actually going to spend in the place. So um, looking about four and a half to five thousand pounds probably um, is what it will probably come out at. I'm budgeting 5,000. Uh, I think the kitchen's probably gonna need a little bit more work than I had originally expected. So um, instead of just doing the front doors, we're probably, because the backs are quite gritty behind, we're probably just gonna have to redo the full kitchen, all the units and just redo it and just get it all done nice and fresh. It's gonna be easier to do that than having to try and salvage what's kind of left there. It's a bit like if, if something's already trashed up, there's, no, there's sometimes no point in fixing it. You're better just whipping out and putting a new thing in. So. We're going to be completely probably redoing the kitchen and yeah so i'm budgeting five grand for the whole thing just get it done well get it done right and get the place rented out in the next few weeks so i've got somebody coming over tomorrow to see it but um i hope you enjoyed seeing the property when i get in the house later on, i'm going to do a little video just on the um on the numbers of this and what i'm basically intending on doing to actually finance the property and get the place rolling into a great standard and um, before i rent it hey what's going on it's the next day so i was going to shoot this yesterday but i um, just got home and i had dinner and i was really tired so just shooting the video today just going over the actual deal of the property as well so here's the numbers so i actually bought that house for ninety three thousand pounds that was the buy price that i agreed and um, with the sellers and what I did is I got a buy to let mortgage on that in the UK, okay? So I basically only put 25% down. Now, I was fairly lucky on this deal because the reason I'd got this house so cheap was because I'd agreed to buy the house cash, okay? So I actually had the money there to buy the house cash and my plan was to finance it after six months, right? It's always really smart to finance your house um, if, you're, if you're buying a property. Um, the reason I believe that is because you can take the cash out and you can use the cash for other projects and you can just keep buying more houses. If you're leveraging the bank's money against the house, it means that you're not actually laying out the cash yourself and you can buy more places and make more passive income off your properties, right? So. The, the agreed price was 93,000 and that was um, contingent on me paying for the house cash. Now because of the, you know, all of the virus and stuff that went on, um, there was huge delays on the side of actually buying the house, which actually meant that I could, I had the time basically to arrange a mortgage and get a mortgage on the house. Now it doesn't cause any difficulty for the sellers um, having a mortgage, it just, it's just, um, you know, skin off my back to actually go and get it. But the advantage of that is that I was able to, you know, get get, get the mortgage in basically um, in time for closing, right? So I, I was able to get a mortgage on it. So I put a £23,000 deposit down on the house um, and I had to pay about 3.7k three, 3 in stamp duty. That was just tax to buy the house, which is absolutely mental, but that's what it's like for buying investment properties. Um, and then I had 1.2k to pay in legals and my mortgage advisor and all that stuff. So I had quite a lot to pay for to get the mortgage advisor to get legals. I'm trying to work on getting that down in the future, but that's just what, again, costs of buying a house. And then I actually had a finder get this property for me. So it wasn't actually me that found the deal. It was somebody else that came to me with the deal. So I had to pay them three and a half thousand pounds just to give me this deal in the first place. Now, obviously it was a great deal about to tell you what it's worth. Um, so it's worth me paying the three and a half for it. But, um, and it was also in an area that I really wanted to invest in. So I had to pay three and a half K for the finders. And then we're estimating the work. We're still kind of back and forth. But I'm thinking about four and a half K. I'm going to put five K down for the work just to play it safe. I'm almost certain I'll get it done for under 5k. It's not 
Uh, there's no disasters in there at all. It's much along the lines of what I was expecting. I was thinking about 4K going in. I think we're going to have to do a bit more in the kitchen than I thought. So we're probably looking at about 5K for the work. 4.5 to 5K for the work, okay? So all in, I'm in about £36,500. That's how much I've actually left. That's how much money's left in my bank account to pay for this deal, okay? That's, that's how much I'm paying for the house myself, right? Now, this property is going to... Um, will bring in about 700 a month in rent okay so if i just look at it purely from that number 36 and a half thousand i'm making 700 in rent i'll profit like 550 a month something like that by the time i pay for the mortgage interest um it's not a repayment mortgage it's just an interest only mortgage so i don't actually pay the house up i'm just paying the interest that the bank would charge um so all in i would make like a good 20 percent odd return on that which is fantastic it's just crazy good but i can do one better because that house that i bought is actually worth um on paper right now that the previous home report i've got it's worth one hundred and thirty thousand pounds right now whether it will get refinanced at that because of the virus the valuation might come down slightly because of that so i'm kind of banking out for 125 but 130 it could very well achieve right as on, on, when it goes to get revalued now in six months i can go back to the bank and i can say to the bank right I want to release more money out of this property because I only paid 93000 for it and it's actually worth 130000 right? What they'll value, they'll tell me what it's worth. And they'll allow me to release more money provided that I'm not over leveraging in rent or anything like that. So if it revalues at 130000 I'm essentially going to be um, only paying £8,000 for this property. So this this strategy is, is what's called refinancing. It's quite difficult to, to explain to you, but essentially, like in this video, but essentially I'll be able to release money from that property and get even more cash back on it, right? And it means I'll be taking on more debt with the bank, but I'll just be paying a slightly bigger monthly interest payment, which isn't a problem because I'll now have another 20 grand or so to invest in another property, which will more than cover what I'm paying the bank in interest for, right? So, that's essentially the deal. It's quite good. In six months, I'm hoping I'll only have eight thousand pounds left in the house, and I'll be earning a passive, you know, five five fifty a month, which is about six grand a year or so. Um, I'll be getting into my bank six and a half thousand a year. So that's uh, a one win to me. That's a pretty good deal. So that's basically the rundown of the numbers. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed uh, seeing my first property deal. Um, I'll maybe do a video in kind of six months time or whatever when I go to refinance it and talk about that and talk about how things have been going with the, the tenant I'll be putting in it. Uh, I might even do a video on me how I'm getting a tenant or whatever as well. I'll just see how things go. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. And yeah, I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Bye guys.